Hello everybody, welcome back to Dave's Garage. A uh, nice snowy day again here. Uh, it's Friday, so it means uh, several inches of snow apparently in this part of the country. Uh, and then it melts away during the week. Um, covering things up, uh, preparing for my knee replacement, so it's going to be probably two or three weeks before I mess around with the cars again. But about the time I'm ready, hopefully we'll have some good weather and I can start getting in and out of them. Uh, my gas pedal foot will be affected this time. So, anyways, uh, here's the current build I talked about doing a truck, and uh, I said probably the Matt Cruise Liner AMT. This is a round two reissue. So, uh, to get started with this, uh, I go over the instructions pretty thoroughly before I ever start, and I use a highlighting pen and I kind of pick out things that I may want to do out of order that may uh, need to be done. Uh, before other assemblies. Um, typically when I build these things I like to do the chassis first and uh, then I'll do the engine block and transmission and uh, a few things and then I start fitting uh, parts together so that way I get all the alignments I want and don't have a drive shaft that winds up out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, these uh, AMT kits are kind of notorious for that kind of stuff so uh, I've had uh, some experience. So here what I'm doing is I'm starting to file mold lines and stuff off of the parts and uh, over here what I'm doing is checking for squareness. Now these are ladder type chassis. That's what I call them anyways. Uh, maybe you call them something else but uh, they're like a ladder and being square is real important and the parts fitting square is important. And here's something I wanted to show you is the fit on this cross member. These are probably the two first cross members I'll put in, and uh, uh, you can see here uh, it rocks back and forth because the mold halves are poorly aligned. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take that those angles out and make that flat, and then I'll use my calipers and make sure that both of them are the same width, and then I'll use this tiny little machine of square to square things up and uh, make sure that uh, everything is square as I go and assemble this model. Uh, it's critical that the chassis is square when you start out. Now, then the number two thing I noticed on this kit is I was a little bit confused. Hmm, okay, install the front cab mounts left and right. Do that during chassis build. Well, I can see some things going wrong there like the, you know, what do we do with the rest of the cab? How do we mount that? And I'm really not seeing anything in the directions. And may, maybe uh, other people that have built this have. Uh, but okay, so here it is. Here's the two cab front hinges, and they go to the grill. So I found the grill, and I'm curious about how all this is going to work. So uh, there it is. Well, we know that we don't want to glue anything to that chrome it's never going to hold together and the cab's going to fall off constantly here's the hinge parts right here so we can see what those are and those are going to need to be completely uh, filed and sanded flat and uh, probably going to want to use maybe an epoxy or something to uh, bond those together and uh, somehow mount the grill into the cab and then do a mock-up uh, and make sure that the cab, uh, the back of the cab lands on the rear cab mounts and that things align properly because that's, there's gonna, there's a lot of potential for, uh, oh darn it, I wish I would have built this kit different uh, in that regard. So any of you that have had experience with this, go ahead and put in your comments and uh, say what you, what your experience has been with this kit. I think it's pretty straightforward. I think, uh, I'll get it all figured out and we'll make that cab land 90 degrees to the chassis and we'll make it land right dead in the middle of these two uh, mounts, which uh, to me that's the challenge is uh, not halfway, not not near one end or the other, but right dead in the middle and uh, comes down straight and uh, flips nice and easy. And also on these truck kits, uh, I go for a little bit more robust uh, gluing methods because uh, they're quite heavy and you're plagued constantly with stuff falling off of them if you don't scrape chrome off the chrome parts and don't get parts mated 
uh, well and uh, don't use a, a good bonding cement that actually kind of melts things together. So I, I'd like them to kind of sit on the shelf and not fall apart on me. Um, so that's about it. Uh, today is uh, Friday, so I might do another video on progress. Uh, I'll probably also assemble some of the suspension pieces and fit those and make sure that those align correctly in the chassis before as I go. That's my, been my experience. And uh, then we have sub-assemblies to do. And uh, this thing should move right along. And I'm, I'm pretty confident it's going to come out to be a, a nice uh, addition to my truck collection. So um, Tuesday is... Uh, that's uh, four days from now, I think. Uh, I'm having a total knee replacement, so I'll be down for probably a week to two weeks. I, I did the left knee, and it took me about two weeks to get to where I was out and about and moving around again. Uh, I, and, but that was my left knee, and the right knee is going to be a little different because that's my gas pedal foot. And I noticed on the left knee that it was uh, you lose movement of your foot for a few days. So being able to pick your leg up and operate a gas pedal and uh, brake pedal and all that kind of stuff is probably going to take a little bit more time. Uh, anyways, <laughs> leave you with a, here's a, here's a nice old uh, Mac, uh, I don't know, LSCW, I don't know. It, it's, anyways, it's based on an L. It's a, uh, that was an old monster um, prime mover truck that um, was famous. I just have some nice pictures of old trucks around. and uh, I, I like them all. I like cars. I like trucks. I like uh, boats and planes and everything. So I build models of all of it. So we'll cover it all. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm really excited about the amount of subscribers. And uh, it's fun. It's fun to share everything with you guys. So anyways, that's all I got. And thanks for watching.